Alright. Just got back from the account. Like, and just, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You have to see the account. It, 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 it's, it's that film that comes out the right time right to you that everyone says, I'm glad it came out because now you're going to have the time for it. It's just that amazing. So good. And why do I like it? Now, this plot has must be the simplest plot of all time that I've must seen in a long ass time. But I don't care. I do not care. This movie is so. has a sense of good sense of action when the, when the right sense. But the action won't have a good sense of funny moments. It just has that great sense of pacing that you were hoping that this film would be instead of an over long haul movie. This movie is 128 minutes, but it uses the 128 minutes perfectly. Then say other films that, that come out this year or recent past or in the future that just go willy nilly, just fly over the cross the world. I might have to say, in retrospect, to where I can put to a set example to, it's almost kind of like Stranger Things. Kind of with that sense of pacing, but Stranger Things is much perfect on the line sense of pacing. You understand what I'm trying to say? Good. But in that respect, that's the best part. So the best part of this film is with all the pacing. It's a good sense of pace. There's not a moment that you miss or just say like, Ugh, just end this. No, I didn't get that all in the film. The majority of the films, I kind of do. Even long-ass Quentin Tarantino films. Or Martin Scorsese film, or Alejandro G. and Enrique films. I really don't care. This one, I'm like, I appreciate. I appreciate for it being a correct sense of, a good sense of pace. Now, was ever shot in cinematography, did a fantastic job. Because there's not too much moments of shaking cameraness. Although, like, eh, it's not Hunger Games shaking cameraness, but it's like, not your average shaking cameraness. But it does a great style of formatting. Some some good actor sequences like you see with gun. F gun f of, of, of just all the bullets. When the bullets start flying around, there's a sense of real realism, of course, where, yeah, she got to get ducked down and everything else, but damn, damn, just this film just does these sniper moments correctly, close combat cores correctly, heck, even close corner, like, fisticuffs correct. It does everything right that like you should expect from a cinematographer to do. And thank you, thank you for doing this correct. Because I had like a ton of shaking care moments and just like moments where I just didn't care about like, eh, I don't care about the action. This movie would have felt boring. But it didn't. So thank you. Thank you whoever's in charge of cinematography. Did a fantastic job. Now the strong point of this movie is downright with all the actors and actresses. You got Ben Aff and Affleck as your main character who has kind of suffered with autism but... That's point to size because you know this character says autism like they'll repeat it several times but and I'll show him while he's very anti social, no direct eye contact, very just to whoever has autism, like you know what I'm trying to say. And I'm saying that in a in a positive way how this movie does it, even that's more on the side of because this Ben Affleck's character is very, very crazy. Because I'll say this spoiler like when you see all the guns that he has it's like, this motherfucker's crazy. And he is crazy. But for a good, very reason, which I cannot spoil, because I was spoiling the entire movie for you. And it's like a kind of good sense of a person that you think that you know, but then has a good side to him, a good moral sense of code, if that's a good sense of way, even though they kind of spoil the trailers just a bit. Again, like, you see Anna Kendrick in the film, like, she has a small minor role, but she does a great effect as a good sense of humanizing Ben Affleck. Yeah, that's a good sense of word, a humanizing Ben Affleck. You got J.K. Simmons who wants to find out who the heck this character is. You got the actress who played Viola Davis on Arrow who wants to find out the heck of these characters. And, and these guys must have, like, a good sense of chemistry. Like, even though they haven't been filming together, like, in other projects, like, you sense that J.K. being our, our Academy Award Winner just delivers when it when he's any, with any scene that he's in or working with another actor or actresses. He's just that amazing. Even though his role is very very minor to all the others, he still does a fantastic job. In fact, all the other actors and actresses, whether it be in supporting leads or even our lead, just a bit, do a fantastic job. Some of them are short if you miss them right away, but but they're all done and executed. Perfectly, the dialogue in this movie is just spot on. It's because you get because I can't explain the dialogue of this movie. 
You just have to see this film. You have to trust me. If there are any flaws to say about this, there's none. Hardly any. If there are, they're just like, eh, the this could have been done just a bit better. But that's it. And that's a very, very minor thing in this perfection of a movie. That's right, guys. Mark it down your calendar. Go see in the calendar because I'm giving you a 10 out of 10. A recommendation. You have to see this film. Don't miss it, because if you miss it, you're going to wait like five months for it to come out on DVD. Go see the account. It might, and I'm not going to say this, be aware. This could be a potential Oscar nomination. You never know. We still got a few months left to go, but you never know. You never know. Go see the account. I'm giving, once again, repeat, it's a 10 out of 10. If there are any flaws, they're minor. Go see this movie. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And did you guys see the account? What do you like about the film? What was the best part of the film? Do you agree with me? I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.